All right, in this video, I'll be explaining exactly what took place, or at least from my perspective. Uh, there's so much that went on in this video. I mean, there's only so much you can control and so much you can, you know, so much you can do. Uh, a lot happened, so let me just get to it and start explaining everything. So I, as you can see here, gravel, sand, you know, typical shit, uh, shit city, too lazy to uh, sweep the roads and stuff. So anyways, I'm looking both ways, making sure there's no oncoming traffic. As you can see here, uh, this, uh, this uh, I don't know what this is. It looks like a truck or a Jeep or something. Uh, it's, not the, it's not the guy that's cut me off. This guy is like a gray vehicle or something. He's turning left. You can clear, it's clear as day. He's turning left. He's going into this laneway over here. So he's not my problem. Behind him, there's nobody. There's nobody back there. My way is clear. There's no possible way I could possibly be cutting anybody off. It's perfect. You know what I mean? This is perfect scenario for, for jumping into uh, to the road or whatever. So I'm checking. This way is clear. That way is clear. Still clear. I head out. Now, this is the speed limit, okay? 60 kilometers an hour is the speed limit here. Or at least I think it is. Might be 50. I don't know. Anyways, I go 60 here. Well, not 60. I go 70. I'd go 10 over. Big deal. Whatever. Anyways, everybody goes 10 over here. Um, yeah, so anyways, the speed limit is 60 here. But watch this. Just a few seconds later, there he is. He's already there behind me. I'm going 70 in a 60 zone. He's going at least 90. At least 90. Now, take a look at this. He's about to merge into my lane, and he hasn't even passed me yet. He's about to cross the line, and he hasn't even passed me yet. Like, come on. You know what I mean? You can just imagine what's going through my head. You can see I actually moved over to give him room, because that's how close he was to me. I mean, that, that's scary. So I'm already pulling in the clutch. He's already into my, my lane. You know, he's already crossing over into my lane. Fucking idiot. You know, how did he get a license? You know, I am swearing at him and stuff, but there's no way he's hearing that. He's ahead of me, you know, for anybody thinking I'm road raging behind, beside him. I'm really not. I'm venting out my frustration because that's what I do. Uh, but there's no possible way he could be hearing any of it. So, you know, just quietly mumbling in my own head. <laughs> so anyways, here, I didn't know the light turned green. I thought we were coming to a complete stop. So I didn't bother changing my gears, which I probably should have. Because in hindsight, uh, it probably looked like I was wanting to talk to him or something. But I really wasn't. I just, I gave him this because... I could see him through his back windshield. You can't really see through the video, but I could see through his back windshield. He's already staring me down. He's already staring me down. So I, I pull up next to him, and I give him the stare down too. Like, why not? He's giving me the stare down, so why, should, why shouldn't I? He's yelling. I could, I could actually just he barely hear his mumble through the window, through my helmet. Like, he's yelling with his window open, uh, window uh, closed, whatever. And I'm in the wrong gear, so I got no power. I'm, I've only got 300 cc uh, ninja, so there's no power when you're in third gear, so or fourth gear. I might have been in fourth gear. I don't know. So I had to gear down before I can even uh, hit, come close to being able to accelerate. So it looks like I'm just stalling out or whatever, wanting to talk to him, but really I wasn't. But he rolls down his window and starts yelling at me, so I take advantage of that while changing gears, uh, so I could speed up again. I take advantage of him rolling down the window, and I say, What's your problem? And that's all I say to him. There's no, I didn't flip him the bird, I didn't say nothing else. I mean, there was no reason why he did what he did, and then came after me afterwards, you know what I mean? After me saying that. I say, "What's what the hell's wrong with you? Because he cut me off. He ju jumped into my lane before I, like he was even in front of me. That's, that's scary as hell. You don't do that, especially to bikers. So anyways, uh, so I, th I figured that was the end of it, but I'm going to try and get away from him anyways because people like the road rage. So anyways, I notice him. He's already in my mirror. 
what the hell is he doing in my lane? So he's coming after me. So at this point, I'm like, well, I'm going to change lanes again. I'm going to jump in front of this truck and get out of there. And I know what some people might be thinking. Oh, I cut this, this truck off and all that. But the thing is, when you're in this situation, you want to get the hell out of there as quickly as possible. You don't want to be behind a road rager because he might just bump you off the road. And what, what are you going to do then? Now you're in a, stuck at a hospital, so, you know, get out of there. You can't slow down because, like, he might just hit you. Uh, ch the best way is to accelerate, change lanes, get the hell out of there. If you try and slow down, he might just ram you. You know what I mean? And then what's going to happen then? He'll just speed bump, you know, just keep on going. Um, so, anyways, I jumped in front of this truck. I, I left plenty of space, but still, it was kind of tight. I... Uh, you know, you could call it aggressive riding if you want, but I did what I had to do. You know, I got out of there. And I noticed this van was slowing down quite a bit. I figured he was probably turning right, and he did. He, he was he was turning right. And you'll notice as uh, I moved a clip ahead. Um, see? There, there's his right turn signal. So he's turning right. So I take advantage, and I pull in. Now, the van is slowing down, and the and the truck behind me is still going uh straight so for this jeep to appear right in my mirror now he cut off that truck so hard he must have came within inches of hitting that truck behind me so just goes to show this jeep was after me you know what i mean he he was he was on me so anyways like i i merged in and it was quite tight this jeep came in how the hell did he pull that off i don't know but anyways he jumped in now I'm being chased. He's within maybe two meters at the very most behind me. Like that that's scary. On a on a very bad corner. I usually go on this corner about thirty five kilometers an hour at the most. I might be going maybe fifty kilometers around this corner, and that's scary as it is, because there's a lot of sand on these on these uh, corners. And uh, as you can clearly see, there's a lot of potholes, cracks in the road. There's not much traction here. It's it's horrible. Anyways, uh, I'm going quite fast because I'm trying to get away from this guy. And this guy is still pursuing me. Like, really hard. Like, he's still there. Like, look at him. He's, he's really, really close. So I know that this lane that I'm about to merge into is clear because the van, he was turning right. There's nobody there. So it's, it's nice and clear. I, I, didn't check, I didn't check my mirror. Or, uh, or my sh well, I checked my mirror, but I didn't check my shoulder, or, like, over my shoulder or whatever. So that's whatever. You know what I mean? You can only do so much. There's a lot going on. You know, there's only so much you can do, especially when you're driving aggressively like this, trying to get away from them. So, anyways, this happened. So let me just go forward. I check, I, I check my over my shoulder when it's too late. But yeah, anyways, I I did it because it's force of habit. I did it anyways. So here I slow down. Now, as you can see here, the city is ridiculously lazy. Uh, it's been two months. They still haven't swept the sidewalks yet or the roads so you know i'm trying to slow down as quickly as possible so that the jeep can't merge behind me that, that was the main goal i, I should have normally i would turn right at the intersection but here i'm trying to turn right early so that this jeep can't follow behind me because he's in the passing lane so by me changing lanes and stopping as quickly as possible to, to turn right there's no way that jeep could turn in with me without hitting me and i it was a risky move, but it worked out in the end. It got me out of there, uh, and he couldn't follow me. So that's that was step one of trying to get away from him. So I'm on the sand, and of course, when you're on the sand, and I'm going 20. Oh, I could actually see here. I'm going 25 kilometers an hour on this bad corner. That's risky. So I made it wide, and if by chance this jeep were to hit me, I'm still technically going straight. So if he hits me, I could still hopefully control the bike and maybe heads keep on going straight towards those pedestrian or something but maybe veer off at the last second and into the gravel and then into the parking lot whatever anyways you know what i mean i i, I made it wide because i'm trying to do this as safely as possible and try not to lean too much into my corner you know wait to the last second make sure the jeep is past me whatever if he's going to hit me he would have hit me right about here so he didn't so then i start turning in and i knew the truck was there but i, I wanted to make it wide anyways so I did, it did look like I was going to, I don't know if this truck was freaking out a little bit, but, uh, you know, I didn't come too close to him, but I made it quite wide. So anyways, I'm through here. And of course I'm not in the right state of mind. So I 
forget to change my gear. So that's what that's what the revving is for. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. I honestly didn't mean to do that. It's, I just I missed the gear. And these speed bumps are hard. I I really hope they paint them, and I really hope uh, time will bring those bumps down because those are those are some heavy bumps. I actually bought them out. That's how bad they were. Especially on that one. Anyways, way is clear. You know, truck is in the other lane. He's going really slow. Everybody's half asleep behind the wheel. Now, at this point, I know what you're thinking. I'm following behind him. I'm really not. Uh, you know, like, the, the guy... Uh, oh, that's another thing. I forgot to mention that. Uh, when he passed me there, he was, pro he was still staring me down. He saw me. So, when he passed me uh, at that turn right or uh, section, whatever, he actually saw me and he was staring me down still. So, he was still upset. Anyways, I see him now on the road. Because I didn't see him before. But I see him now on the road. And... Yeah, so I want to change lanes. I want to go into the passing lane, so I get a, I, it opens up my options to get away from him again. So I'm checking my mirrors. I'm checking them over my shoulder, changing lanes. And this is a bad uh, area to be accelerating because there's a three, there's a triple um, railway uh, crossing. And uh, as anybody who rides a motorcycle knows, it's slippery as balls on... Uh, on railways because it's metal contact right so you got like no traction at all i usually pull in the clutch whenever i cross these tracks so but i didn't have a choice i had to accelerate i had to get out of there so i'm crossing you know clutch in i see him coming out of the vehicle so of course i'm I will, i'm looking at my options i'm looking at oncoming traffic is is that uh um left uh, intersection thing is that open you know can i cut it can i get in there you know what i mean I'm, I'm looking at my options so i see him he's coming out he's pointing at me he wants to fight me that's all i'm thinking in my head he wants to fight me look at it like he he's not even stopping at at where the the cars are he stopped before the cars so he's trapping me and he wants to confront me the only the only thing that's going through my mind is he wants to fight me so that's what's going on here. Oh, by the way, uh, I, I did some uh, stops, whatever. I, I tried to get his license. There's only one letter I, I'm not sure about. Anyways, his license is CB, possibly N, I-533. So for anyone who wants to know, that's his license plate, or that's most of his license plate anyways. So anyways... Yeah, so anyways, he, he, he's about to be aggressive, so I get the hell out of there. I see there's nothing there. There's nobody there. So I'm just going to cut through and get out of there. It's a bad corner here again because you got to kind of make it wide. But uh, anyways, I did what I could, you know. You got to make do with what the situation that presents to you. So I get the hell out of there. I look at him to see if he's following behind me. He's got back in his Jeep. He's probably ready to come after me again, but whatever. I figured he was going to follow me some more, so I, I wanted to get out of this parking lot as quickly as possible. Just keep moving. Don't stop. You know what I mean? So anyways, I'm looking for my next turn right so I can get in front of him. But, you know, dead end. So, and I kind of panicked there. I toot the horn accidentally because, God, what a stupid place to place that horn button. But anyways, uh, so I, know, I have to stop. And for anybody wondering, no, I didn't hit the curb. I stopped before hitting the curb. It just looks like I might have hit the curb there. As I keep looking to see if he's falling behind me, I want to get the hell out of there. So I don't even stop for this stop sign. I know I should have. By law, I'm supposed to. Safety, you know, and especially after what's going to come up next there, I should have stopped. But I'm, I'm in freakout mode, you know what I mean? I'm trying to calm down. I'm trying to think slow. Try to, you know, not drive too aggressively. But... For all I know, the Jeep could be coming up behind me, and he could have rammed right into me, you know, at, the, at any point, you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to get out of there. I don't know where he is at this point. So I see this car. I see he's driving really slow, but at the same time, I'm thinking, you know what? It's not worth it. I'm not going to cut this guy off. I'm going to, you know, stop and let him go in front of me. But I kind of made that decision a little too late. So, you know, I'm half into the road and by the time I, I stopped, so... That was my stupid mistake, that right there. You know, there's a lot happening. So I, I just, I let him go. 
and of course i'm in the wrong gear i was in second gear that at that point i think that's why i was hard revving right there and of course i realized i'm in the wrong lane i didn't see see the jeep is actually pulling right there i didn't actually know he pulled right i didn't see him i didn't know where he was at the time and i'm realizing i'm in the wrong lane i have to be i, I want to go straight through i don't want to go i don't want to turn left so i realized at the last second and technically speaking, I didn't break any laws here. I did check my sh over, over my shoulder. I did use my turn signal, I think. Although I don't see it on camera. Anyways. Uh, and I did... The solid line... The solid line is right here. I, I, I went uh, just, just behind it. So technically, I didn't break any laws right there. I did change lanes before the solid line. Anyways, let's just, you know, whatever. Um... Yeah, so by this point, I'm noticing I could see the guy, because you can't, because his stupid mirror is in the way. But I could see, I see a Jeep doing a, a U turn. Illegal U turn. He's doing an illegal U turn to try, assuming, to get to me. So I figured, okay, well, this is, that's the guy. He, what, what is he doing? So he's doing a U turn. Look this guy. He's actually following me. So I, I noticed, you know, he's coming up to me. Now, red light. Okay, I know I come down this lane, uh, this road a lot. He's got a red light. Uh, th th those lights are red to him. He's not allowed to turn left right now. Okay, he's turning left on a red. We have the green. See, it's a solid green. He's not allowed to go. He jumps in front, blocks this truck. I'm holding back because I'm like, what the hell? Is he going to jump out of his vehicle and come chasing after me? I'm looking at what my options are. Yeah, I mean, well, why did he stop at the intersection? If you're going to cross a red light, get going. Don't just stop there. Get going. You know what I mean? So it's like, come on. What the hell is going through his mind? So I'm holding back. and I start accelerating a little bit. I want to make sure I'm still in gear. And in the right gear this time. So anyways, finally I see he's still moving. So I pull up ahead a little more. I shake my head, of course, because, you know, what the hell's going through his mind? I check my shoulder, I change lanes. To an accident too. As you can clearly tell, I let this video footage go because, oh, I want to show you this. Um, I let this footage go because I want to show you. I'm not, I'm not aggressively riding. I'm not doing anything a common, angry rider would do. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I don't want a road rage. I'm not into that. I might swear, I might call the guy names, whatever. That's that's just, you know, words that go on within my helmet. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not yelling at anybody. You know what I mean? This is just my own personal thing. So, anyways, I want to show you this truck. So, this, this situation is over. Even though I keep checking my mirrors uh, to see if he's going to, you know, do another U-turn and try to follow me again, uh, I'm pretty sure he's not going to come after me. He's already far enough away there's no way he could catch up to me now or hopefully not but anyways uh I, I want you to take a look at this truck okay you know some people they drive with two feet they have one foot on the brake one foot on the gas i'm pretty sure that's what this guy was doing so watch this guy closely why is he hitting the brake give me one good reason why he's touching the brake so I, I see this. So I'm slowing down. I don't want to get in front of him. What the hell is he doing? Is he going to change lanes into my lane? Is he going to cut me off again? You know, is there another truck going to cut me off? I didn't know what was going on. So I slowed down. I stayed behind him. You know what I mean? No more. I don't want no more wackiness. Just just get me to the dentist. You know, I just want to get to the dentist safely. Just get me there. And that's the end of it. I need to relax. You know, I'm just... <laughs> at this point, I'm so stressed out. I just want to get there. You know, come on, bad drivers. Just, how do you get your license? Just, come on. <laughs> so he's touching the brake. I don't know why. Yeah, and then he really touches the brake again. Like, come on, how many times is he going to touch the brake? And then he touches the brake again. <laughs> and then you don't see it now, but like when I turn left, he touched, he actually flicks the brake. Like, you can hear it go, T -t -t -t, you know, like, like flicking the brake. Like, I don't know what the hell's going through his mind. Anyways, I'm turning left, so getting that done and over with. I made it kind of wide here. I don't know why. I'm, I'm so screwed up out of my head. That I should have I should have turned into this lane. But technically speaking, there's no law that says I can't turn into this lane. So, anyways. 
I turn back into this lane, into the right lane. And of course, I see these people. They're oh, tourists. I don't know if they're tourists, but you could clearly tell they had no idea uh, what they were doing, what was going on. They see me. They they turn around. They want to go in a different direction. Like, what the hell is going on? So many weird wackos in this city. I swear to God. Checking my mirrors. Checking, you know. Staying within speed limits. I'm, everything is legit, you know. I don't want to break any lo ro uh, road laws here. Still checking my mirrors. Pothole. <laughs> Anyways, and that's pretty much the end of the video. I just wanted to show you I'm not raging. I'm not gr driving aggressively. That's why I kept it going for a minute longer or whatever. I think it was about a minute longer. All right, so I just wanted to show you that I'm not I'm not driving aggressively. You know, this there's, there's nothing else going on, you know, and I check. I check my mirrors. Everything is legit. You know, I'm not breaking any, any laws here. So, anyways, that's all I wanted to show you. I wanted to explain it all. So, uh, if you have any comments, any suggestions, what I could have done differently, keep in mind I was I only had like less than five minutes left to get to my dentist appointment. And if you don't get there in time, some people will just be like, "Well, you're late. Go home." You know what I mean? And me having my disabilities and whatnot, uh, I, I can't just. Uh, reschedule again because I've already had to reschedule my dentist appointment so if I reschedule again they might just say you know what you're a bad customer go away we don't even want you anymore so